Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you a few drill bits I pulled out of my toolbox. I'll show you what they are, how I use them, what materials they're for. And then at the end I'll show you a couple tips on how to prolong the life of your drill bits and how to save yourselves a little bit of money. So as always, if you enjoy these videos and my videos, like and subscribe. And to start, we'll start with masonry bits. Now masonry bits are used for cutting anything like a brick block concrete based products stone so you would use these to go through like say your brick walls uh, for fixings or drilling holes to run stuff through um, they're quite a simple drill bit really that's what the end of those look like um, if these get hot they can get damaged the ends so don't let them get too hot when drilling um, you can get them to fit a normal chuck like this one would fit a normal drill chuck or you can get them to fit like an SDS chuck. So that's your masonry drill bits. Next we'll start with the generic, what you might know as the most common wood bit. So this is a brad point drill bit, or you might know it just as a common wood bit. So how these work, these work in wood. They give you a really clean, precise hole, and uh, they don't walk much, because once you get the point in, they don't really walk around your timber as you're drilling so these will give you um, a nice clean hole and, and where you want to drill it on the ends you can see they're angled up that gives you it cuts the outside of the hole before the inside and that's why you get a clean hole when you get less splintering and breakouts of your hole um, so these give you a real nice precise hole that if you're going to have something on show then you're definitely going to want to use this type of drill bit on your wood to stay in with the theme of wood, we'll move to these flat wood bits here. So you get a few different varieties of flat wood bits. These are two varieties here, just a standard flat cheap wood bit. And this one here is, um, I think this is a Bosch one, but this is, it has a corkscrew end, it pulls itself in. You might also hear these referred to as spade bits. The difference between these two is this one pulls itself into the timber so it needs a lot less pressure behind it than this one would to drill so if you're in an awkward position this is going to be more of a favorable bit than than these the downside is these are slightly more expensive and also these ones can be slightly more aggressive if you hit something whereas these will just bounce around on the screw or a nail or not these will stop and make the drill flip around in your hand a little bit so be a bit wary of that. I prefer just the, the cheap standard flat bits. Um, used them for years and years, drilled thousands of holes, and I prefer those. So the next wood bit we've got here, this here is a quad flute drill bit. You may hear them being called quad flute auger bits or just an auger bit, but this is a quad flute drill bit. Um, you get them with more or less cutting points and flutes. How these work is they have a corkscrew as well, so they pull themselves in really nice, and they... Um, all of these deep grooves help remove the timber that's being chipped off by these. They do give you a really good hole. The only downside to these is I wouldn't say these are very novice friendly. If you catch a knot or a nail with these, they will stop and they will throw the drill around in your hand and that can really hurt sometimes. You can get them to fit a standard chuck or this one I've got here is an SDS chuck end. We've got here a countersink bit. You would use this on your wood. You would just give it a little drill before you put your screw in. That makes um, sort of like a cone shaped hole in the top of the wood that would allow your screw head to sit flush to the timber once you've put it in. So that's just a little countersink there. I just thought I'd show you. So the last drill bits we've got here to show you are these ones here. Now you might know these just as a drill bit or a very basic twist bit. Um, or you may know these as metal bits, but these are HSS metal drill bits. Um, these are really good drill bits because you can use these on a variety of products, um, lots of different varieties of metals, uh, plastics and woods. You get different var varieties of these types of bits, different types of coatings, but these are just standard HSS bits. These will drill the center of the hole before the outside, so you are going to get more wood splitting on the hole, which is why you wouldn't use these if the hole's going to be on show. You would go for your brad point bit 
but these HSS bits are a good all round drill bit um, and you would need these especially if you're going to be going through metal. First tip I'd give you is to make sure you use the right drill bit in the right material. That is probably the quickest way of destroying your drill bit and the material is to use the wrong, the wrong bit. The second tip I'll give you is don't let your drill bits get too hot. If you're drilling and the end of the drill bit gets mega hot in the hole, even masonry, doesn't matter what bit you're using, it will probably melt and damage the cutting edge and then that bit is useless. So. That's a, another tip for you. The third tip I do is I pre predominantly buy HSS and masonry bits. They cut most, if not everything that I want to cut. And then the masonry deals with all the rest. Um, a fourth tip I'd give you is to make sure the drill bit you're going to be buying can fit the bit you want. If it's a normal chuck or an SDS chuck. Um, and finally, I'd say buy 5.5, 6mm and 7mm drill bits. So if you enjoyed that video, then like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.